Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Vibes it up in the kitchen as usual. Summertime. I know it's not the time of the year yet. You want something cool and refreshing, but winter is around the corner. And while this recipe is not Caribbean, this is my take on a non-Caribbean recipe. Yes, we're doing Hunter's Chicken today. Something I had a few years ago when I was out in Vancouver visiting my friends out there. You're gonna love this one, man. Hunter's Chicken, vibes it up. It's not Caribbean, eh? So it won't be on CaribbeanPod.com. All the ingredients down below and follow along now. Vibes it up. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. I browned off about eight strips of bacon and the reason for browning it off at this point is to render off all that fat that I, that flavor. I want that there to use to brown the chicken pieces and in the meanwhile you can um, prepare the chicken. I am using drumstick and thighs. You can use whatever you want and right away my heat is on low now. I turned the heat down. So I'm better able to take out the bacon. And I should be using a bigger spoon for this. Why am I wasting you all time? But anyhow, bacon out. And at this point, I'm going to use the opportunity to quickly, I'm going to turn on my heat to medium. I have some cremini mushrooms there. And I'm just going to brown them up, give them a little bit of color. We're going to fish them out and then we're going to go in with the chicken. For the chicken, all you need is some salt and black pepper, full of some ingredients down below. And we're gonna dust it in flour and then brown them as well. About four minutes later, on that medium heat. And I'm just gonna remove those mushrooms out of there. Make sure you drain them good. And this is where now we're gonna start adding the chicken pieces. And if you recall me saying, salt and black pepper, not very Caribbean when it comes to seasoning, but we'll season some more later. Salt and black pepper, and we're gonna dust it in flour, each piece of chicken. My heat is still on medium, and all I'm doing on the side over here, we've got that flour. And most of it's, well, extra skin and fat I removed, but I kept the skin on, that's gonna help bring in all that juiciness of the chicken. So if you want to remove that skin, you can certainly do that, and I'm doing a combination of drumsticks along with chicken thighs bone in and I'm gonna do maybe five pieces at a time just have to crowd a pan we're trying to brown them a bit on both sides and this is the second batch and so it only took about 15 minutes to brown off you're not trying to really cook it at this point just to give it a little bit of color and to seal in the juices now there's a bit too much oil too much fat in my pan here because I ended up adding about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil when I was browning along with the bacon fat. I'm gonna take some of that fat out of there and discard it. Remember, do not put it down your sink. It will clog your sink, right? My heat is on low now. I remove some of that fat. And if I put about a tablespoon and a half of fat in there. Onion. And some fresh thyme from my garden. Low heat, please. After a couple minutes, more of that black pepper. Remember, we seasoned the chicken with that salt and black pepper already. A good dose of that black pepper. And I have some garlic. Because you know Caribbean people, we love with garlic. And I'm, I minced it up there. Heat is still on low. We don't want to burn that garlic, so we're just going to move it around like so. And right away, we're going to go in with some tomato puree or tomato paste. A couple tablespoons of that. And that's going to help give it some body, some acidity, and some color. You know, we ain't trying to eat no pale, pale kind of looking thing. I'm going to move around that tomato paste in there. Because I want that sweetness, the caramelization to happen. And you see what's going on in the bottom of the pot there? That is exactly what I'm talking about. That's going to bring out the sweetness of the tomato. I'm telling you, the kitchen is already smelling wicked. I am real nice. So, 30 seconds later, your favorite white wine, a nice dry white wine. 
I'm going to crank up my heat to medium now, and I'm going to scrape and deglaze the bottom of the pot here. And you see all that niceness that's happening there? Oh, yo, yo, yo. It's pure sweetness I got. As that wine evaporates out there, and see the body and everything that we're getting, I have a couple of these, they're very convenient, chicken stock, sort of jello kind of looking things here, but it's packed with flavor. Now if you don't have access to this, because I know wherever you are in the world, you probably don't have access to it, you will need about a cup and a half, two cups of really good chicken stock. And I'm just going to melt that down. So in my case here, I will use water instead because all that flavor is in that, that chicken bouillon kind of thing that I have there. If you make your own homemade stuff, well, rock that. Uncle Chris ain't really hating at all. I can appreciate that. In goes my water. And after I put the chicken, I will decide whether or not I need some more water or not. I just want to bring that back up to a simmer to make sure my chicken stock melts away nicely before I tuck the chicken in there. And all I'm doing now is tucking back those pieces of chicken in there. Because remember, we didn't fully cook that chicken, right? That's why I wanted all that broth in there. And later on, because I'm serving this with mashed potato, I would want a gravy. So don't fret too much about the amount of gravy that you're seeing there. The whole idea is to be able to cook this. And make sure the chicken is cooked all the way through. And it's all about flavors. That drippings in the... Boy, that drippings is going in there too, boy. We ain't playing, you know, we're not playing. So you can see that bubble that we've got going on there. Now, unlike traditional recipes, I like doing things a little bit differently. So let me just move this around just a little bit more. Just to make sure nothing is sticking on the bottom there. And you're going to have to stir this every five minutes seven minutes or something just flip them over to make sure everything is cooking nicely but unlike other recipes where they add the mushrooms later on i like adding the mushrooms now and the reason being i want that mushroom to absorb all those nice flavors that we have in there and additionally i also like going in with my bacon bits so yeah that same bacon we rendered down there that's going to give it a nice smokiness just gonna tuck that mushroom along. Boy, look at that, my boy. Hmm. I'm telling you, the first time I had this out in Vancouver, we were out, my friend and his, well, a few of my, a couple of my friends, they took me out for dinner. Man, was this ever delightful. Yeah, I'm not Caribbean, but we always eat in different things too as we travel and we explore and we bring it back home and things. So, so really don't hate, don't appreciate this. You know, show a little appreciation, it's a little thumbs up down there and leave a little comment and thing like that. If you understand, you understand, you understand? It's been going now for about 25 minutes and I stirred it a couple times already. You'll notice I didn't add any further salt because the salt we seasoned the chicken with at the start plus the sodium level in that chicken stock there is incredible. Um, no need to do that, but obviously taste it for salt. The chicken is fully cooked all the way through. So what I like doing here now, fresh from the garden, we've got some chopped parsley in there. I'm just gonna move that around. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. We did something non-Caribbean, and pretty much my take on a classic a sort of a French recipe, Hunter's Chicken. I hope you guys give this one a try. Now you can obviously burn down that gravy to, to a bit more thickness if you wanted, but I know this pot will retain some of that heat. Plus, I'm serving this with mashed potatoes, so I want that gravy. Always a pleasure, man. Irie? Irie.